What's up everybody? This is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution where we talk about the best investing and breaking news with everything under the moon in the crypto universe. Today we're going to be talking about an article that Akomi has just released regarding their OMI tokens and the burning event that occurs. Now in this article, VV token system and OMI utility, transactions within the VV digital collectibles platform are underpinned by the OMI token which is complemented by an innovative burn and buyback system based on the sale of NFTs. With the future staking opportunities and a range of additional incentives designed to maximize both the utility and scarcity of the token, the OMI token offers a range of utilities within the ecosystem that will continue to be integral to the app's operation whilst maximizing the value for token holders. And if you're an uh, OMI token holder out there, be sure to leave a comment down below, uh, scream out your name, you know, give a shout out, uh, and also don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and that notification bell for future videos. Now, VV Digital Collectibles. VV is a leading mobile first digital collectibles platform with over 300,000 users and more than 500,000 digital collectibles sold since the app went live at the beginning of 2021. The app is consistently ranked in the top entertainment apps in the world. And, you know, this is something to really look forward to considering that uh, Marvel is going to be releasing uh, their NFTs through uh, the VV app. And this is definitely going to help, you know, burn a lot of the tokens uh, of OMI uh, during that process. And we'll talk about that, that in a little bit. So the OMI is a utility token that can be used to buy, sell digital collectibles uh, of NFTs on VV. The token generation event took place in May 2019, with a total supply cap of 750 billion tokens, thanks to the tokenomic design of VV. Almost 450 billion of these tokens will never be in circulation. At the time of writing, it is a GO20 token, aka GoChain. However, the VV is currently migrating to Ethereum via Immutable X, at which point OMI will be also migrate to ERC20. And why that's important is because if uh, the OMI token is going to be transferring to the ERC20, that means that the token itself will be able to be traded on other platforms, not just on you know the limited platforms that it's on right now, like Bitforks or Gate.io. It can be traded on you know Coinbase, it can be traded on KuCoin, it can be traded on Binance, it can be traded on many of these other different exchanges, which is a huge plus. So that's why it's important that they go through this transition through their partnership with Immutable X to migrate. Um, so definitely look forward to that. It hasn't happened yet, and this is why I think I'm very bullish on the OMI token. The token distribution supply. To, to accommodate the range of transactions that take place on VV, OMI tokens were initially distributed in the following manner. In the VV reserve wallet, 300 billion tokens, these tokens never enter circulation. The VV vault wallet, 40 billion OMIs added to uh, added for uh, initial liquidity. This wallet acts as a staging wallet between the in-app reserve and the burn wallet. These tokens never enter circulation. The business development, uh, long-term initiatives, 20% or 150 billion OMIs. The team advisory group gets 150 billion allocated OMIs and the private sales, 110 uh, billion OMIs. The tokens held in the reserve and vault wallets are imperative for the functioning of the app and as such these tokens never enter circulation since the launch of the platform 103 billion omi tokens have been permanently removed from the total token supply 909 uh, i'm sorry 97 billion were removed from the business development fund and founders allotment and locked indefinitely in smart contracts by the team and an additional 6 billion omis have been burnt from the purchase sale of NFTs on the platform already. That means that of the 750 billion tokens originally minted, there are now less than 647 billion in the total supply, and less than half of that supply can ever enter active circulation. Ongoing token burns and buybacks will also continue to reduce the number of OMI tokens in circulation. And as these features are based on the sale of NFTs, well, continue to deflate the circulating token supply regardless of market conditions. That's always great. 
And as you can see here, by Q1 of 2022, all available OMI tokens will be in circulation after voluntary vesting by the co-founders and advisors, at which time the circulating supply will peak. So if we look at this graph, uh, right now we're at uh, Q3 of 2021. And as you can see, it kind of builds a circulation. And after Q4 of 2023, it's supposed to deflate after that uh, at a substantial amount. So we can expect the price of uh, the OMI token to circulate around the 2023 to 2024 uh, year. And uh, that's good, you know, because you at this time, you can see that since we're at uh, Q3 of 2021, we're really at the early stages of this. And even in cryptocurrency in that universe, we're in the early stages of everything. And considering that if you just put just $100 in OMI, uh, you get a lot of these coins. And so this is why I think this is a perfect time because to invest in OMI, just look at the long run, look long term. This isn't like a quick pump and dump. This is an NFT platform playing for the long game. And considering that Marvel's gonna hop on board and who knows, Star Wars is in the, is rumored to be the next uh, big branded business to integrate to their NFT platform as an augmented reality experience, this could be very huge for uh, the Komi team. So uh, Omi token burns in the VV story, let's talk about it. As mentioned, when a user purchases gems using fiat dollars, that transaction is actually facilitating the purchase and movement of OMI tokens. Whilst the user will see gems credited to their account in the background, the OMI tokens are actually sent to the OMI Vault wallet. If the gems are used to purchase a digital collectible from other users in the market, those gems transfer to the seller's account and the OMI tokens remain in the Vault wallet. When those gems are used to purchase a new NFT from the VV store, 100% of the OMI tokens are pulled from the Vault wallet and permanently removed from the supply token, which is a burnt event, whilst the digital collectible simultaneously appears to the user's account. Therefore, with every sale of the digital collectible in the VV store, the total supply of OMI is permanently reduced. If that was too much, hopefully that last sentence <laughs> made you understand a little bit more. Thus far, almost 6 billion OMI tokens have been burnt thanks to the sale of NFTs, which can be seen in the out-of-circulation wallet. Now, if you look here as an example, if you put $10 and you put it as gems in the app, well, guess what also goes into the gems wallet, but also goes down into in-app reserves, which is the 40% of the token supply, which also then goes to the user's OMI wallet. Again, it's behind closed doors. The OMI remains in the vault until the corresponding gems are spent, and then it goes into the OMI vault wallet. And then the corresponding OMI is in the vault is in exchange for the NFT and then moved to the out of the circulation wallet. Again, here it is. That's important because it will no longer be used again. This is to help facilitate you know, the scarcity of the OMI tokens, but also it's supposed to encourage people, the users as well, to be trading, to be spending, to be buying, because that type of activity on the app is kind of showing proof of uh, proof of the of the actual uh, uh, user experience, but the proof of the model as well. So that that's really important to show that this isn't just some you know short game uh, experience. That yes, they 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 definitely see the bigger picture. Omi token burns in the VV market. When a transaction occurs between users in the market, the seller pays a 2.5% fee. The market transactions take place using gems. The equivalent amount of token, OMI tokens are again pulled from the reserve and sent to the burn wallet, permanently reducing the total supply of tokens. In Q3 development, we will begin to allow users to transact in the market direct, directly with OMI tokens. This will also incur a 2.5% percent paid by the seller. However, those transactions will see a 2.5% burn directly from the circulating supply. Again, this is why it's important to have uh, the action uh, happen on the app. By using the combination of gems and OMI tokens, the purchasing me mechanics and tokenomic design of the VV provide a way for mainstream audience to interact with digital assets without the steep learning curve that is typically required of crypto. While it's simultaneously advantaging OMI holders who benefit from increasing and ongoing scarcity of the token. Again, hodl, hodl, hodl. The OMI utility token, let's talk about that. Well, it's gonna be in phase one, market transactions. Phase one of the utility rollout allows users to transact directly with OMI in the VV market peer-to-peer. -peer. Depending on the type of user, when listing 
items for sale in the market, the seller can choose to list their NFTs for sale in either GEMS or OMI tokens, and therefore accept payment in the currency of their choosing. This is development one of the phase of the utility token uh, will begin in Q3. Phase two, store purchases. Phase two will also allow users to purchase a percentage of collectibles in the VV store with their OMI tokens. This will also allow incentive mechanisms for using the OMI tokens, which will be discussed in more detail closer to its implementation. Development of phase two will begin in Q4. Now, that's everything in a nutshell of how these Komi tokens or AKA OMI tokens will be burnt. Uh, and you know that's something that I think has been kind of unanswered and luckily Akomi had kind of clarified uh, how that all happened. So the activity on the app um, and you know the out of the circulation OMI tokens, I mean this is all such bullish news for OMI holders. If you're a holder out there or hodler out there, you know please again leave a comment down below. This is a community where we're all in this together. You know we all want to see this thrive and you know be excited for Marvel and potentially Star Wars coming up in the future. Uh, but definitely Marvel, that's solidified. That's coming up soon. And once that happens, the amount of trading volume on the app is going to explode. Uh, everybody knows that Marvel is such a huge thing right now. And uh, I want you guys to be able to get in this uh, early. So again, if you want to be able to buy an OMI token before it's listed on any other big exchange like Coinbase, KuCoin, Binance, uh, so forth, so on, you can buy it on Bitforex, which is a website that I highly recommend. Um, the best way to buy OMI tokens is to get USDT Tether, which you can buy on Coinbase or Binance. So be sure to buy your USDT on any of those other platforms, those major exchanges, and then transfer that USDT uh, to Bitforex and uh, use uh, those that USDT on Bitforex to purchase your OMI tokens. Why this is important? Well, if you were to buy uh, your USDT on uh, the Bitforex platform, they take a huge, huge fee uh, because you're going through a third-party credit card or uh, you know banking system platform, and they just want to take cut for themselves. So get it cheaper by buying USDT on Coinbase, Binance, or KuCoin, and sending that money over to the Bitforex wallet. Um, and yeah, there's everything in a nutshell, guys. Well, I'm, I'm very much bullish on OMI. I'm an OMI holder myself. Um, be sure to you know like that button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys next time.